Today is part one of a four-part Fiery Friday series entitled Fiery Automation Tools. Today we're going to review level one job presets. So job presets allows you to get into automation without adding any additional expense to your shop as it is a standard feature on all Fiery's available in the marketplace. So to create a job preset, we're going to come up here, select the three dots in Command Workstation on the Fiery, and select Device Center. So from here, we're going to come down underneath Workflows and select Job Presets. So now we're going to select New, and this preset we're going to call Corner Staple because we want to create a simple workflow that's going to put a corner staple into a document. Now we're going to hit Define. Once we hit Define, this is going to open up Job Properties and it will allow us to select what we need. So first off, we're going to select the proper paper that we're going to use for this. So we're going to use some letter size paper. Then for this workflow, we need to turn duplex on because we want this to be duplexed as well. And then finally, we're going to come down to finishing and we're going to turn on corner staple. And then we're going to hit OK. So now we've created a simple workflow called corner staple that we can apply to a job. So to apply it to a job, we can take the job that we want to apply it to, do a right click, hit apply workflow, and select corner staple. So now you'll see that the workflows apply. And if we double click and open up our job properties, you'll see we have our left staple selected. You'll see that duplex is on, and we have our proper media selected. So the second way that we can create a workflow, and this is an example we're going to create in a booklet workflow, we can do a right click on the job and go right directly to job properties. From here, we're going to go to our layout tab. We're going to use our little booklet wizard to create a booklet. So from here, I'm going to hit Launch Wizard. We're going to have this left binded. We want to print on the front on the inside of the covers. We're then going to select the proper paper. So in this example, we want to use 11 by 17. We'll make sure that everything's going to be centered. We'll add a little creep so it will move the images out as we fold it. At that point, we have that created. We hit Finish, and we'll go over to our Finishing tab and apply our stapling. So once this is completed, we can come up the Job Presets. And again, we can save this as a Server Preset, which will save it back to our Fiery, and we'll call this Booklet, like so. Once we hit Save, now, if we do a right-click on that job, again, we go to Apply Workflow. There's our new workflow called Booklet, which will have everything applied as we've set up. And another way you can apply workflows is when you're importing a job into your Fiery. So we'll take that same job. You can apply it using your server preset here, and you'll see Booklet is available as well. So if we click Process and Hold on that job, we will rip it, and you will see the final result. And that's really how easy it is to set up some simple automation using job presets on your Fiery.